cosmonauts, we deserve this so bad. For a very long time, we tried to meme the Cosmos season into existence. And here we are, we did it. Cosmos is pumping. As we can see, Atom went above 10 US dollars, $10.27 to be more precise, as we have the Atom halving proposal also on chain up for voting for the community. I made a video about this yesterday and shared some of my thoughts. My personal view is that you should not turn this into a political debate, put people into camps. I said this yesterday as well, but this is really what it is. It is a big proposal, but just vote and move on and let the community decide what they want to do here, right? As we can see though, so far, from the 28,000 unique wallets that have voted, uh, the vast majority is voting for yes here. Um, and also in terms of the validators, we have 21 validators voting for yes, five for no, two are vetoing it, and five are abstaining. Very interesting. Um, we still have 12 days remaining for this proposal. So make up your mind, make your thoughts, and then vote. But Atom, as I said, has been reacting really nice. Um, obviously, not necessarily only because of that proposal, but also just because we are now seeing a revival across the Cosmos ecosystem, which some people call dead in a bear market. Um, but here we are, we survived, and Cosmos is pumping, Cosmos is strong. There's a lot of liquidity, there's a lot of volumes. We're also going to look into some of the top gainers on Binance, because that's also very important to look at. And overall, just Atom, um, $10.24, it's good to see back above $10, while at the same time, Bitcoin is not moving, Ethereum is not moving, BNB is not moving, XRP is not moving, nothing is moving. Obviously, Solana had this crazy run, I'll give them that, but Atom is slowly but surely moving up. Rank 28 now, um, just a little bit over 50 million US dollars in market cap behind Monero, so we might actually see rank 27 reclaimed by Atom, and um, so it goes on, and so it goes on for the top gainer for this week, huge surprise, massive price movement, massive airdrop, and that is Celestia Tia. It launched here um, on the 31st of October, um, so 11 days ago, and went down to $1.90. It's been bet between $2, $2.30 for a long time. And then it went on this parabolic run all the way up to 6 US dollars, almost $5.97, which in my opinion um, is very high in such a short amount of time. And right now it's trading at $5.16. So it's cooling off a little bit, it seems, um, because that run is scary, to be honest. Um, it just doesn't stop. And I personally think if you're still holding on to the airdrop, realizing some of these profits is not the dumbest idea. If you already sold at $2, $2.50, I think you, you definitely sold too early, um, but still it's been a decent airdrop. Um, if you're holding until now um, and are not staked, I think it might make sense to consider taking some chips off the table, waiting for TIA to cool down. I personally believe it will retrace um, I mean, at some point it has to retrace. It's not going to go up only forever. And if you're worried about unlocks and if somebody can dump on your head, we're right now here in November. So we just launched. Um, the airdrop was fully unlocked at the TGE. So the biggest winners, to be quite honest, from the Celestia launch are Atom and, and Osmo stakers, in my opinion. And obviously also the Ethereum contributors and uh, general contributors that got the airdrop, but airdrop recipients, because we got 100% of TIA unlocked at the TGE, 74 million TIA tokens. Um, so that's cool. So this is all unlocked. And the first um, unlock for early investors, um, which obviously some of them are sitting on hundreds of excess in profits, especially the seed round investors, um, they are only unlocking a year from now, their tokens are locked for one year. They can't move it. They can stake it so they can dump their staking rewards, um, but they can't uh, sell their uh, collateral, their investment. Um, so they have all one year cliff, which means in uh, late October of 2024, and then respectively 12 months or 24 months for the initial core team. 
um, 12 months for seed and series A and B investors that will be unlocked um, at that time. So this begs the question, who is selling? And I think, well, now that the price is at five bucks, we have a lot of people that bought here at $2. So there might be people that made a quick two, 2.5 X uh, and they're taking some profits here. Then also, like I said, the uh, sticking rewards that early investors can sell. Now this is also maybe causing some sell pressure and obviously the higher, t higher TIA goes, the more this actually means in dollar terms. And if we look at some of the on-chain metrics here for TIA, we can see that 39.3% have already been bonded, which is 394 million TIA coins, which means more than 2 billion US dollars. So this means a lot of the early investors have staked their tokens and are accruing um, rewards at roughly 20% staking APR. So this is where some of the sell pressure might come from. I don't think, honestly, that the airdrop is still causing a lot of sell pressure because people might have already dumped or they staked because they believe in a project, which, to be honest, a lot of people did. I also did that with my um, 50 or 60% of my airdrop that I got. I just staked it, and the other half I took today during this day between $5.20 and $5.80. Um, now it's around $5.25 as I'm recording this video. But I think it's extremely volatile right now. Uh, I'm not a professional trader, so I don't know if this is a good moment to long or short. Um, I think to, to long was probably a few days ago. Um, but I have absolutely no idea where this is going in the short term. I do believe, though, that long term, TIA has potential to actually become a $100 billion protocol and achieve a $100 billion fully diluted valuation. And in this video that I did two weeks ago, there's approaching 10,000 views. I broke down what Celestia is, how it works, and the entire ecosystem. Now, I already talked about the Cosmos Hub and Atom earlier in relation to the Atom halving proposal, but I haven't mentioned Neutron. And Neutron, in my opinion, is probably one of the most underrated value accrual mechanisms for Atom and for the Cosmos Hub as the core pillar for the Atom Economic Zone which is this new narrative, this new direction of the Cosmos Hub. And, and uh, Neutron plays a huge role in that. Neutron is a Cosmosm-enabled smart contract platform that is now already home to many applications in the ecosystem, which you can see here. We got Astroport, we got also Mars, Lido, Apollo DAO, TFM, Craft Network. We got a lot of things deployed on Neutron. And Neutron itself, the NTRN token, if we go here, on Binance is also one of the top performer of the day and has a $51 million trading volume, smashing here new all-time highs, $52 cents, 46 US dollar right now as I'm recording this. And if you've been a loyal subscriber of this YouTube channel, then you certainly got the NTRN airdrop alongside the TIA airdrop, alongside the Stride airdrop, which all have been very, very juicy. So this is cool to see. And if you look here also at the top gainers, um, for in the past 24 hours on Binance, we can see Neutron rank four, Tia rank five, also Cosmos coin, then Osmo down here, which is also one of the top gainers and also almost at $70 cents right now. Um, and then we have Atom, also one of the top gainers. So this is cool to see. Cosmos is not dead. Cosmos is waking up and it is a sleeping giant still. Um, Atom below $10 has just been ridiculous. I also think Osmo below $1 is still ridiculous. So there's a lot of upside for a lot of coins. I don't think this is full bull run yet, but it's 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 a it's a revival. It's a wake up call for the Cosmos ecosystem. And if we look at what else is pumping in Cosmos, we see Quicksilver up 47% in the past 24 hours. Neutron I already mentioned, Omniflix 14.5 cents. That's also been a decent airdrop and they still have very high staking APR, 124% that I know people have been farming a lot and compounding. Juno back above 60 cents. Stargaze almost at 1.4 cents. Quasar above 5 cents. We talked about this a lot uh, about Quasar. So this is really cool to see. Also Mars 7% up. Say Network over 14 cents. And the list goes on and on and on. It truly is Cosmos season, my friends. I'm very, very excited, very bullish. Um, again, like I said yesterday, I don't think this is the full on bull market yet. This is a 
big relief rally though, and that's an important one. It's a very important one because it so shows relative strength of the Cosmos ecosystem, especially now on a day where um, most other, other coins are going sideways or going down to see that Cosmos, Atom, Tia, Osmo, they're all pumping is a great sign. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you want me to cover also in one of my next videos. And I hope I'll see you soon here on this channel. Subscribe, like, share with your friends on Twitter, on YouTube. I'll see you soon. Stay safe and be good.